Hello, so I want to share my idea for a ACT spindle with a BLDC motor that is integrated inside the, the spindle. So basically what, what we are few basic components of a spindle, of course we have a radial and axial load bearings, we have one uh, axial bearing and we have a VT30 taper with its uh, this, uh, catch mechanism and we have a, a spring that is always uh, pre preloading this uh, this um, a grabber with a force so the, the the tool will not going to come out and we have a like a air cylinder acting from here uh, that will uh, compress the spring and release the tool so uh, what, what we have to do is to place the motor inside this part and um, okay so what I have I have a, a revolt motor so this is the motor uh, uh, this is the motor and the uh, idea is that uh, we mount a motor like this like this and this will go to the uh, uh, spindle uh, spindle um, uh, structure so uh, this this motor will be like a, a small plate a plate like this it will go like here and it will be fixed to the uh, spindle ca case and we mount the stator from this and we have a hole, uh, uh, it's uh, 32, uh, uh, 25 millimeters in diameter, uh, uh, if we exclude bearings, uh, that will show 20, uh, 26, uh, let, me, let me check, so we have a hole inside this, and the hole is 20, 26 uh, millimeters in diameter. So we have a 26 millimeter in diameter hole for this uh, drawbar structure. And if we can, if it's it's not enough, we can uh, enlarge it to a 32 millimeters uh, hole. So uh, what we have, so this uh, this will mount the spindle. Uh, so it will be lo stator will be locked, and uh, from that uh, we need to mount this. Um, this is a, a rotor. So this is the tricky part. We need to have a, a all the bearings or everything inside this. And after that, we need to have like a cup that go inside this. So this is the tricky part that, that I don't know how to mount. Maybe we need to, to turn uh, turn uh, like a spacer that goes inside this, and it will uh, attach to the with, uh, with uh, like with uh, screws. And um, this so this spindle will be for one part, second part, and, and the uh, top part. Um, Yes, and where we are like, like a screw, screwed on or something like that or maybe uh, an other type of arrangement. So yeah, the hardest part is we need to have a stator that, uh, that is mounted like this and it need to have magnets that will go in assembling lug goes like this just inside and um, uh, this part needs to screw, uh, this part needs to screw to the BT32 taper, 30 taper I mean not 32. Uh, so yeah, this is the idea how to make the spindle, of course, in, in the 3D, in the uh, not in 3D, but I mean in the in the model, the 3D model. But how to ma make it in the reality, I have no idea so far. I have, still have to figure out this part. But it will be very nice spindle to have because this motor is, is uh, torque is very high. You can make it like servo, and the torque when you go into the low speeds increases, so you can have uh, like going. Um, uh, 1000 rpm with a very high, uh, very large, uh, 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 I don't know how to call it, uh, very large tool for facing and uh, you can also uh, use the spindle for the uh, threading and so on because spindle would be nothing more than a high quality servo, very high power servo. Uh, I have encoders to 2000 counters per revolution of course, if you make spindle, real, real, uh, real uh, Real be like thousand or even less, but that's enough. So yeah, this is the idea and uh, good thing because Revolt motor has this this, uh, this bearing. Basically, uh, we can mount um, this to the uh, after that uh, to the uh, outside and the screw in. So we have very large uh, bearing that can uh, handle axial uh, um, axial loads. I think. I mean, in this direction not good in this direction so yeah uh, and uh, this this will uh, be connected to the to the uh, spindle uh, spindle structure 
I think it's possible to do. I don't know how how much effort uh, we need to to insert, but uh, this this motor costs like three hundred dollars. There is a, a lower end versions and higher a higher power version, but this is very large, very high torque motor, and it's BLDC, DC, so uh, yeah, it, it should be very slight. Well, I think like twenty kilos spindle. It's it's not that that large, but it's very high torque and very integra should be very integrated. And um, uh, I, I wasn't able to find any at market at, at prices that I can't uh, take because I spend a lot of money to the servers and uh, and the parts other parts. So this is the idea for the spindle. Uh, still need to engineer it, uh, or I will I will uh, 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 try to get some help from friends that uh, that know uh, about this stuff and, and made spindles like this so maybe it's something that other people will need and cost should not should be as high as uh, other spindles I think the the next uh, the, the spindle of the ACT option is like uh, 4000 euros with the inverter and it's it's quite large so yeah, this is the idea. I don't know how how possible, how good is it, how good it is, but um, I'm not a mechanical engineer, so I'm just this is I I have an idea, but I have no idea how it will work in the real world. So thank you for watching, and if you have any um, any ideas how to make it more simple and uh, more reliable and much more easy to assemble, I would love to hear that. But for now, thank you for watching.